Hi, Vanessa. How's it going? Hi, Jessica. It's going good. It's a beautiful day in Washington, D.C. <laughs> it's here. There at the Capitol. We just wanted to chat with you a little bit about the Farm Bill and any updates that you want to share with us. And I was wondering if you could start by reminding all of us what the Farm Bill is and why it's important for young farmers. Yeah, sure. The Farm Bill is the most important piece of legislation that funds and authorizes uh, programs related to our food, agriculture, and food systems. So many of the things that we care as young farmers are authorized and funded through the Farm Bill every five years. Things like um, mandatory baseline funding for beginning farmer rancher education programs that community-based organizations can, uh, can apply for and train young farmers. And many other things related to credit, land access, and conservation programs that our farmers love to use to fight climate change. So I know that the Farm Bill expired and it was extended through this September. It had a one-year extension. What are you hearing there in D.C. about what is going on with the Farm Bill timeline? Any updates? Yeah, definitely. We are really excited, uh, but also worried. We don't know what is going to be on the Farm Bill, but we are hearing that the Chairman Thompson from the House Agricultural Committee may propose uh, a Farm Bill, Mark, in the next month, in May, in the following weeks. We're definitely looking at mid-May, uh, and the rumors are really strong, and obviously we do not know if they're going to become true, because we only are given like four days' notice when uh, the Farm Bill, Mark, happens. So that's why these rumors are really important for us, and right now the rumors are really strong, so if you like gossip, please jump into this gossip. Great. So the House mark is the first draft of the bill that gets introduced, will be introduced by the House Agriculture Committee. Is that right? Yes, right. Okay. Um, and what is the overall process? So that that draft gets introduced. And then what what has to happen before we have our final farm bill? There's a lot of steps in the middle. And we don't know when uh, the bills introduced how far we're going to make it. So that's why we have to be ready to mobilize, organize, and connect with elected members of Congress. So first, the chairman will uh, introduce the mark. Then the committee will vote on it. And also House and Rules Committee will decide if it can be taken onto the floor. And if it passes those two committees, then it goes to the whole floor. And in the floor, it could pass or it could die. And then the Senate has to do the same thing. And then those two bills, they need to be reconciled in something called conference. And then we have a final farm bear and that the president signs. Well, that's like nine steps of where we are from today. Gotcha. And so as all of this negotiating is happening, mm -hmm. it's it remains a really important time for all of us in our network to keep advocating for what we want included. And I was wondering if you could just remind folks, like what, what are the National Young Farmers Coalition and our farmers' top priorities for this farm bill? Yes, definitely. And remember, we have opportunities to influence the process at any point, so it's never too late. So if, if we miss the house mark or something later, well, this is the most important moment right now because we want we want to make sure that our priorities are on the mark so we don't have to fight for them to get in. Then. So our top three priorities are a land access program that will uh, allow for land access community-based solutions, and that's the LASSO Act. And then we have the Small Farm Conservation Act that will allow for smaller farms to access more funding uh, for conservation programs like EQIP. And then we have our farmer to farmer uh, uh, ad that basically focuses on improving farmer to farmer uh, network connections for conservation learning. And all of these are three priorities that we heard from our, our base, basically telling us this is one of the most important things. And there are many other things that we care about the farm bill, but we're trusting other partners to lead that we will support as well. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Vanessa. And just a reminder to everybody out there, if you're not already part of our Farm Bill Action Network, you can go to youngfarmers.org slash advocate and sign up for that network so that as things are happening in DC and we're getting everybody ready to take action, you'll get text alerts or emails and um, you can contact your members of Congress to ask for them to support our priorities and make sure that you're signed up for our newsletter. You can visit us at youngfarmers.org and follow along on social where we'll be sharing a lot of important updates as we engage in this farm bill process. So thanks everybody for tuning in and thank you, Vanessa, for giving us the, the latest from DC. Okay, my pleasure. My my goal is to be your DC Farm Bill bestie for the following week. So, <laughs> I hope, I hope, so hope to see you all turning and help us uh, pass a good equitable Farm Bill. You are our Farm Bill bestie. Thank you so much, Vanessa. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.